everybody, welcome to Brain Stuff. I'm Ben, and today we're here with our special guest, gamer extraordinaire and executive producer of Red Flea Games, Adam Sessler. All right, and here's today's question. Could you have a savant hidden inside your brain? And that is a crazy question because savants have amazing skills. You've probably heard of some of these before. They could do things like... Uh, what's Drawing or sculpting with an incredible accurate level of detail. Yeah, and uh, reciting pi to 22,000 digits. That's, that would take a lot of time. Okay, another one is like playing music after you've heard a piece just once. That's great. Like, can people really do that? I, I actually knew a kid that could do that. He made me feel great about myself. Ah, uh, see, and that makes sense because for most of humanity, these are like real life super powers. But it's possible that we all have these savant-like abilities hidden inside of us. I mean, could they be overshadowed or rendered dormant by other parts of our brains? Well, just maybe. It might be that different regions of our brains are sort of bullying each other. Take artistic skill, for example. Yeah. In a book called Drawing with the Right Side of Your Brain, Betty Edwards leads readers through a series of exercises designed to turn off the left side of the brain, the so-called verbal side. And that allows the right side to see and copy the line set segments on a paper. Oh, you know what, I, I heard of this one. Adam, I think one of those exercises is just uh, turning the paper upside down, right? Yes, we should do more stuff upside down, I guess. Yeah, that, is, that is weird, so. Does you be not right, right side up but in the brain. Oh, we're rolling. Okay, give me hey, another yeah, idea. Yeah. And uh, here's another way to turn off the left hemisphere. It's called transcranial magnetic stimulation. It's just shooting high impulse, uh, high intensity magnetic pulses into the left hemisphere. When this happens, it appears that people really do have potential for savant-like abilities and not just drawing. I like this. And you're assuming stuff like counting at incredible speeds, extraordinary powers of recall, and more like that. It's almost like we get to become our own X-Men. What? Yes. <laughs> now, there is a similar method called transcranial direct current stimulation, which uses a different method to create similar results. So we really can give people mental superpowers. Oh man, okay, so X-Men comparisons are running through my head, but this stuff is a temporary thing. Uh, and we probably couldn't do it at home, but it's still, it's fascinating because it implies that people may have some sort of savant or undiscovered extraordinary talent hidden in our brains. So if scientists are able to evolve more ways of modifying the interaction between these hemispheres, then one day, Adam, it might be possible to take a pill that makes us temporary geniuses. I would, so like, what, what would your hidden savant be? I think my hidden savant, it would cry less and would finally make my mom happy because I'm living up to my potential. Oh man, okay, you took mine. Uh, my, <laughs> uh, my, my hidden savant would uh, probably remember, uh, probably have better pants. I yeah, what, good, good for you. <laughs> Better pants. Putting them on on the first try. There are those are the goals in life because when you hold it that yeah, low, right. you always can feel better about yourself. And that's the secret. You guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this explanation about some uh, hidden savant talents. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to run outside and just try to get some of those electromagnetic currents going through my brain. I think there's something fun here. Yes, and uh, you can check out more of our videos. Uh, you can check out Stuff by Adam and I here on the other side of the screen. You you can like, you can subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.